National Human Rights Institutions, NHRIs, play a significant role in promoting and protecting human rights. This is because of their unique position in the state between other state actors such as parliament, government and courts and non-state actors such as academia, civil society, media and businesses and because of their position in the international human rights system. National human rights institutions are state institutions established by law or constitutional provision but they are required to function independently of the government. However, they are not non-governmental or civil society organisations. Because of this unique position, national human rights institutions can support in bridging between civil society organisations and government and have potentially more authority and influence than civil society organisations. National human rights institutions serve as the expert and guiding lighthouse to other actors in the national human rights system by identifying and monitoring human rights concerns, as well as educating and advocating for the promotion and protection of human rights. For example, a national human rights institution can advise government and parliament on legislation, policies, programs, etc. Some national human rights institutions have a quasi-judicial mandate which allows them to complement the courts in cases involving human rights violations, including by amicus briefs, public inquiries, mediation and conciliation. However, the scope and powers of national human rights institutions is far narrower than courts. National human rights institutions can also play a key role in bridging the national, regional and international human rights systems. National human rights institutions can ascertain that international human rights norms and standards are respected and properly implemented at the national level. They can also independently report on the local human rights concerns to regional and international human rights mechanisms and bodies and thereby bring national human rights issues to the attention of regional and international fora. Strong and effective national human rights institutions help ensure that the state, as a duty bearer, is able to meet its international human rights obligations nationally and that the rights holders are able to claim their rights. In that way, strong and effective national human rights institutions bridge the gap between the rights of individuals and the responsibilities of the state.